Good morning, everybody. Today is October 28. Wait, 28. Just making sure. It's been such a busy week. I'm just making sure. <sighs> um, happy Friday here. It's Friday. Um, and I am so happy. It's Friday. I'm ready for the weekend. And just relax and rest. My body hurts. <sighs> if you, oh, I'm just cracking my neck. If you all don't know, I am a disabled vet who works. So when I do too much, which I am infamously, infam <laughs> I'm butchering my words already. Infamous, <laughs> infamously, <laughs> infamously. <laughs> I'm known for doing too much, even with the state of my body. And I pay for it during the day, I'm limping. And then the next day I'm hurting some infamous, it's, you know what, I'm gonna just give up on that word for today. Infamous, infamously, infamously. Okay, look, English is not my first language. Spanish is, okay? Infamous, you know what? Sometimes I can say it and sometimes I can't. Sometimes I can say some words easy, certain words, and sometimes I struggle. So, yeah, there's that. And also, I have gray matter heterotopia, which makes me stutter and forget things instantly. So, when I am making videos and I say, oh snap, I got a brain fart. And I forget the stuff like this. That's part of it. If you don't know what, if you, anybody ever, you know, interested in knowing what gray matter heterotopia is, um, I can make a video on that. It is not epilepsy. I do not have epilepsy. I have gray matter heterotopia. As well as chronic pain. Hypothyroidism. Say that three times fast. Yeah. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. I just wanted to say, you know, have a wonderful day, wonderful weekend. And if you are going through some tough times, excuse me, sinuses which I have been lately, you know, I can't, you know, I wish I had a magic wand to make you feel better, but just know you're beautiful, you're loved, you know, don't give up. I know that it's easier said than done, but keep fighting because your life has a purpose. It has a meaning, even though it feels like it doesn't sometimes. Don't stop fighting because your life matters. And for me, I decided to put my mental health first and stop, stop bending over for other people. I stopped putting my mental health second and putting other people's feelings first. I stopped doing that. I am 41 years old. And I, once I turned 40, I said, you know what? I'm done. I don't care if you are family, even my own kids. Mind you, my kids are teenagers. One is an 18 year old and one is 15. Um, I, I stopped doing it. Um, you have to put your mental health first. Even with family members, I stopped putting my mental health second just to please other people. My mental health is precious to me because I've seen very, very dark times. Very, very dark times. And I don't wanna see them ever again, ever, ever again. And I refuse to put my mental health second. Ever. Because I've been one of those people that has gone to 
see a psychiatrist and have been judged by said psychiatrist and don't wanna, the, don't feel comfortable seeing psychiatrists so, or therapy because of that said psychiatrist. Not saying that all psychiatrists are like that. So I took my own mental health in my own hands not saying that you should do that please don't not all of them are like that not all are like that i just had the unfortunate experience will i go see therapy again yes i just gotta get through this hurdle because and i did report that person that made me feel oh my god look at that highlight look at that highlight Ish, ish. look at that highlight anyway um I did report that person that made me feel inadequate I did because and if you experience that as well report that person because you know what you don't want that person that makes you feel inadequate when you go seek help make other people feel inadequate because you when you seek professional help you should feel comfortable speaking to that mental health professional not feel judged about your traumatic experiences and decisions you made in life that you're not proud of but you did them anyway because you were in distress um but i took my own mental health in my own hands and i've been and i am making strides and soon i'm going to be in therapy and make better strides and one thing I've been trying to do I've been trying to when you know when I go out I put a little bit of makeup on to make myself feel pretty and I do it for myself I don't do it for other people you know I put makeup on for me not for nobody um, it makes me feel pretty it makes you know it makes me it makes me feel good um, I don't do it for nobody I don't do it for no man for no woman for nobody I do it for me, myself, and I, I do it for Lena. I do it for nobody. And ever since I took being unapologetic with myself, whether some people don't like it, and some people don't talk to me. Some people, even some family members, don't talk to me. I could give two, two shits. Because you know what? Once you embrace yourself, and stop and start being unapologetically you. Some people don't want to be in your life anymore because you have put yourself second and their feelings first. And I'm not, of course, I'm not talking about my kids. You know, I love my kids, but you know, the I think the hardest part of parenting. Is when your kids reach teenagehood. That and that's for me. That's for me. I'm not speaking for anybody else. That's for me because that really tests your wits. Some some teenagers you don't have any issues with. Some teenagers can test. You know they're testing. They you know they question everything because they think they know everything. Um. And you know I've had to tell my kids. You know. You can't blame me for, you know, everything that's going on in your life. You know, you're still experiencing things, but you know, you also, you can't blame me for everything that goes in your life. You need to also hold yourself accountable for the things you do wrong. Because when I, for example, when I yell at you, I tell you why I yell at you. So how are you so traumatized when I yell at you? When I tell you why I yell at you, because you don't clean up your room, you know, your grades are, you know, slipping, you're not cleaning the bathroom like I asked you to and I have to tell you 5th, 11 times, you know, things like that. Those are examples. So, don't, don't come to me saying, oh, you yell so much, you yell so much. Yeah, because I've told you. 50, 11 times in a calm, cool, collected voice in your young adulthood years trying to speak to you in a calm manner. But when I yell, 
Oh, you're so mean, mom. You're so mean. But anyway, <laughs> that's a little, yeah. But anyway, have an amazing day, beautiful people. Have a beautiful Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. And remember, you're beautiful. You're loved. You're have, your life has a purpose. And have an amazing day.